What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Never to Go Relevant, back here with another period to pick on this video. Today, we got two dates for you guys, with that being Hi. Emily and Medusa. Hello. But real quick, guys, before we get started, make sure, if you Hello. have not already, subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoy these videos, so we can keep going. We're at 700 and what, 9 or 10? So close to 1,000, so let's get there. But without further ado, let's just get started, boys. Let's jump right into it. Hello. One last dance. Emily takes you to visit her dying ex-boyfriend, but something isn't quite right. Okay. You have agreed to go with Emily to visit her ex-boyfriend, Eric. Eric is dying. That's all you know about his condition. You and Emily are sitting in his living room while he prepares himself. Thank you so much for coming today. It means a lot to me. That's all right. I hope it helps. I'm sure it will. He just wants to know I'll be safe when he's gone. Yeah, I understand. I knew you would understand. You're a good person. We're doing a good thing here. He says he doesn't get many visitors. So he lives here on his own? Yeah, his mom comes to take care of him when he needs it, though. Eventually, she'll have to be here all the time as he... He... Eric calls out in an exasperated tone. Um... Emily, I'm ready. Now he looks he looked like he dying, bro. <laughs> no offense. Okay, it's time. I'm sure it'll be fine. It will, it will. You and Emily enter Eric's room. He looks gaunt and is wrapped up in a blanket. What a treat this is, Emily, to see your face. Eric. Oh Eric. And dude got a, a big old bed, bro. Emily goes to kiss Eric on the cheek. He smiles at her. And this must be Kev. Hey there, fella. Great to meet you. And you, I wish you were under more pleasant circumstances. But we have no choice. Desperate times, as they say. Let me get a look at you, please. Eric seems a little melodramatic here. That's odd. Nonetheless, you lean in to let him see you up close. Good skin, nice eyes. You replaced me well, my love. I could never replace you, Eric. But you must. I insist, for I am not longer for this world. I'm sure you have plenty of time left. I only wish that were the case. Eric begins to cough. Don't talk like that, Eric. There's still a chance. The doctors told me I had a week, but that was two months ago. That's good. It is, but I fear I'm living on borrowed time. The doctors aren't always right, you know. Yes, I learned that for myself when they misdiagnosed me. That was so awful. It was. Anyways, I didn't invite you here to talk about me. You wanted to meet Kev to see if I was being taken care of. I did. Is that odd? No, it's romantic. I think so, too. To that end, Kev, might I ask you something? Yeah, of course, man. I simply want to know what your intentions are with Emily. Bro, you're not her dad, bro. Oh, I'm not sure he wants to answer that. I'd like to know anyway, if it's all right. It's going great. I hope that our relationship would only get stronger. I feel the same way. He's kind. He takes care of me. Oh, that is good to know. Eric calls. Do you need anything? Water? Yes, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Emily leaves. Oh, now he's finna say something. Watch. Come closer, Kev. Lean in. I have a delicate question to ask of you. I hope you won't be offended. Sounds serious. It is to me. You see, when you reach my stage of life, my stage of life, you have certain needs. Okay. As a fellow red-blooded male, I'm sure you understand. But I'll cut to the chase. I'm asking for one last time. I don't understand. With Emily, one last time. One final intimate moment. But only with your permission, of course. No way. Nah, homie. Absolutely not. No way. I understand your anger, but if I may state my case. I believe this will only make the two of you stronger once I am gone. You will have given me a great gift, and she will see how generous you are. Besides, I'll hardly be much of a threat to you once I've passed. This is weird. I need. I think you need to talk to Emily. Thank you. I appreciate you giving me your blessing. Before you can correct Eric, Emily returns. Ah, my darling, thank you so much. Eric begins coughing. Emily feeds him the water. Kev, could I have a moment alone with Emily, please? Okay, I think you two need to talk. Thank you, Kev. We won't take long. You get up and leave, returning to the living room. While you're sitting there, you contemplate Eric's request. Then you notice something shiny in the living room trash can. Investigate the trash. Inside the trash can, there are some protein bar wrappers. That's odd. Eric's only visitor lately has been his mom. Either she's trying to get ripped or something strange is happening. Investigate the room. 
You look around the room for more clues. You aren't quite sure what you're looking for or why. But you have an odd feeling that this situation isn't what it seems. Search under the sofa. Yeah, let me check under the sofa. You look under the sofa, there are some weights. They feel wet with sweat, as if they've recently been used. Check the shelves. You check the shelves for anything that looks out of place. You find some Halloween makeup tucked behind the book. The package has been opened. Is Eric staging this whole thing? Is he trying to guilt trip Emily into taking him back? You turn around and see Emily standing there watching you. What are you doing? I was looking for a magazine. There's a magazine on the sofa. What were you really doing? Okay. Emily, something isn't right here. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Did Eric just ask you to sleep with him? What? No, of course he didn't. What a stupid thing to ask. I think you should go. Give me and Eric some time. All right. What? Screw you, shorty. I'm gone, man. Before you can explain yourself, Emily ushers you out of the door. I think you may be onto something here, Kev. Eric is clearly some kind of manipulative weirdo. He's trying to lure Emily back to him. But how on earth are you going to prove it? Especially now that Emily hates you. <sighs> Even I don't know, Dan, man. Even I don't know. I would have beat dude up. <laughs> that's that's kind of wrong, because what if he actually is like, <laughs> like dying? <laughs> oh, my God. That's not funny. That's oh, not funny. hello. All right, but on to the Medusa date, bro. Hopefully, this one is a, a bit more smooth. Hello? Knock, knock. An unexpected visitor turns up at your hotel room just as you're about to enjoy a one-night snack. She interrupting me? You want to be some cheeks, bro? Once again, Medusa has failed to respond to your calls or texts for several days. You've given up on her and decided to move on to another woman. Tonight, you've agreed to hook up with the lady called Gina that you met at a hotel bar. She went to her room 30 minutes ago to freshen up. You're in your own room. There's a knock at the door. Open it. You open the door. It isn't Gina. It's Medusa. She's in the same old-fashioned dress that she showed you last time, and it's soaking wet. Amelia? Amelia? My name is Amelia. Well, now we know. She brushes past you and walks straight into your hotel room. You close the door behind you. Nice room. How did you find me? With ease. Amelia walks towards your bathroom. You don't mind if I take a shower, do you? Um, no, if you're quick. I like to take a long time, don't you? No. Also, I have a date coming over. It's okay, I took care of that. You did what now? The bottle blonde you met at the bar. Pretty cheap, but elegant. She's not coming. Amelia goes into your bathroom and locks the door. You try to speak to her through it. What did you say to her? I said I was your wife. Bruh, works every time. You hear Amelia turn the shower on. So you're stalking me now after ignoring me? I wouldn't call it stalking exactly. Amelia briefly opens the door. She's naked and gives you just enough of a glimpse to tease you. Amelia flings her dress out at you, then closes the door again. Dry this for me, will you? You take the dress and put it on a radiator to dry. You return to the door to speak to Amelia some more. What's going on? Where have you been? Outside in the rain, can't you tell? Do you ever give straightforward answers? Not if I can help it. Amelia opens the door briefly. If you're not busy, you could order me some fries and a milkshake. I hear they do excellent room service here. She shuts it again. What do you do? Order room service. You order some fries and a milkshake, plus a bottle of vodka for yourself. You think you'll need it with this woman. She's clearly crazy. You pour yourself a drink to lay back on the bed to wait for Amelia to finish. Amelia exits the shower in a towel. You dress her to her room service order. You order for me. Thank you. I'll pay you back. Okay, but first explain yourself. Amelia starts eating her fries and slurping from the milkshake. She takes a seat at the end of the bed and watches you. What are you thinking? I have a million questions right now. I'm sure you do. I don't feel like answering them. It's more fun if you don't ask. Then I won't ask. Exactly. Too many people ask too many questions these days. Amelia notices her dress is on the radiator. Thank you for drawing out my dress. I couldn't ever part with that. It was my grandma's, you know. Amelia moves closer to you and offers you some fries. Fries? Thanks. You eat some fries. Why did you decide to help me? I was a stranger who called you up to borrow money. Why? Why turn up? 
It, I was curious, intrigued. Well, I hope it's been interesting for you. I'm reserving judgment. I see. Amelia reaches into your pocket and takes your cell phone. Are you stealing it again? Not exactly. Amelia searches through your phone. Before you can stop her, she dials a number. It's Gina's number, the woman you met at the bar. I can leave if you want. Let it ring. Gina answers. Hello? Hey, Gina, sorry about earlier. Room 243. Kev, yeah, I don't think so. I met your wife. What? Hello. What? <sighs> what? Wait, I'm confused. I, I was just trying to say sorry, hey. short. But screw you. If that's how you want to be, then, hey. All right. If that's how you want to be, we could be like that, shorty. All right, let's just get back to that part. Uh, what are you doing here? If we quick, no. You did what now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What'd you say to her? You're stalking me. Uh huh. Why are you so wet? Before that. Are you ever straightforward? Order room service. Nice, nice. Explain yourself. I have questions. Then I won't ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been through all of this. Just get me back to the date. Thanks. Okay. I was curious, right? It has so far. I see. Amelia reaches to your pocket, takes your cell phone. Are you still in the No, no, no. Cancel the call. Okay, that's what we're supposed to do. Okay, got you. You cancel the call. Amelia climbs on top of you and kisses you. She takes your phone and throws it at the light switch, plunging you into darkness. That's some good aim, bro. Let's introduce ourselves properly this time. I'm Amelia. Nice to meet you. She begins to undress you in the dark. This woman must live the craziest life of anyone I've ever met. First, there was the random guy at the golf club. Is she dating him? Then there was the jail incident, which still doesn't make sense. You're pretty sure that car she had was stolen too, as was all that money. And now she's just randomly turned up at your hotel room? What the hell will happen next? Hey, Dana, man, who knows, bro? But uh, anyways, guys, that, that'll be into this one. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new so you never miss any of these videos. I have another video coming out for you guys tomorrow with the uh, special event dates. We'll be finishing that off. Uh, this one right here. So, yeah, the last one unlocks in about a day or so. So I should have that one up tomorrow morning. Um, but like I said, if you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe, share with a friend, share with your mom, all that good stuff. But... With all that being said, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.